Hi, I'm Frank Jan van Spronsen. I'm a pediatrician in metabolic diseases in the University Medical Center of Groningen in the northern part of the Netherlands. Um, and I'm involved in uh, PQ and some other diseases with defects in amino acid metabolism. Guidelines are about statements, and the statements are about as much as evidence. So you have a question, for example, when do we start uh, treatment, when do we need to start treatment, or what should be the upper target fee concentration in a special period of time, and then you are going through the literature and see what is the evidence for whatever the target can be. That's the process. And that means reading a lot of literature. After that you have to evaluate all the literature and see whether it's really adding something because it's good, lit good research. One of the first key recommendations uh, is about when patients should be treated. Um, and we think that patients should be treated when the fee concentration is above 360 micromol per liter, say 6 mg per deciliter. And we think that it's better to start treatment in those patients already and not only to treat patients with a fee concentration above 600 micromol per liter, um, which is said by some other people. But because we are not completely sure, um, we have said that those patients with an untreated fee concentration between 360 and 600 are only to be treated during the first 12 years of life when the damage to the brain is probably more than later on. Target fee concentration, of course, uh, as well, is a very important issue. And uh, for the first 12 years, uh, we concluded that the upper fee target concentration for treatment is in patients 360. After 12 years, it should be below 600. So the upper target fee concentration is 600 micromol per liter. Other things which are very important that we think that treatment is really important during the whole life. That means that in adulthood we think that patients should be treated, not only followed, but should be treated. And when they are treated, the fee upper target concentration is 600. So the fee concentration should, should remain below 600 micromol per liter. We consider it very important that the neurocognition outcome um, is measured twice during life at 12 years and at 18 years. And that you also have to be sure that the quality of life um, is measured from time to time in every period, childhood once, uh, adolescence once, adulthood at once at least. <clears throat> but that you have in your yearly visits uh, to have a, an idea from it, not by a questionnaire, but really going into detail with your patients and of course quality of life and behavior etc is dealt with in the normal uh, clinic uh, visits during the year that you control them. The reason why we made these guidelines are at least threefold. First of all the consensus paper of the uh, Europe by the ESPQ, uh, Tobias Hagendorn, clearly showed there is a lot of difference in care in PQ around Europe. And that can be due to many things. One of them is that it's not possible to treat in a special way. But the other one is a lack of knowledge, a lack of guidelines, a lack of uh, directions how you should treat. That's one of the reasons. The second reason is to make it really comparable throughout Europe. That you get the same treatment everywhere and in the meantime you can also compare the results of the treatment of the patients. And the third reason is to urge people and governments and insurance companies to um, 
be so kind to get the treatment into the country or into the center.